it was hand in hand combat. And she could just, you know. Bro, I would have believed as soon as you would have turned over. Bop, 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 bop. Hi guys, we are Nights. I'm Ray. I'm Michael. I'm Julian. Guys, we're almost halfway done. We are almost halfway season done. Four. Think about that. Like, how long have we been sitting here watching Babylon Five since the first Babylon episode? Babylon Five since the first episode. I'm not gonna lie to you. It feels like it's been a while. It has been a while. It's, it's, and we still got more. We still have. We still have more. We still have well, another season. We have one more season. But everybody seems to hate the next season. Mm. You know. But I do have a question though. Um, let us know, guys. It, can we watch a movie now? Or do we have to wait to the after season four? And I'm asking that because I was getting messages in the in the text in the last couple uh, last couple of days, and people were like, "Oh, you guys haven't seen the movie yet? You guys haven't seen the movie yet?" Mm-hmm. And like, I could have sworn the movie should have been done after season four, but I think apparently we, apparently there's one movie now that we can watch. We can probably watch. Like, we we'll probably just put it in the comments, like in the like, see uh, next time we'll ask during the live stream. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're live streaming right now, but we'll ask before this, and we'll see what they say. Okay. But then we actually we're, we're, getting, getting, we're, we're pretty. Yeah, we're getting we got some rider high. Yeah. So we're gonna die people. So say we're gonna watch Third Space now. Okay. okay perfect. So that's the case. Then that might be happening sometime soon. All right. Yeah. Perfect. But anyway, guys, with that said, but, well, we gotta talk about what happened last. The last episode, episode was yeah. was um, what happened to Mars. Mm. Right? Yes, yes, and then yes, the, yes, the guy yes, yes, that was guy, a sad that guy, episode. Yeah. yeah, that guy blew himself. To yeah, the that, was, that was that was very yeah. sad. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. the best comedy I've ever seen. What are you doing? Best comedy you ever seen? <laughs> no, it, it was it was a good episode though. Like it was kind of like it, it kind of pulled out the heartstrings a little bit because that that guy was not. It wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault. And then he, was, no. he had to kill himself. No, we got we got. Well, I can't wait to figure out what the hell that that thing is. Mm-hmm. You know? I, yeah. That and was a really well written episode though, because it really made you feel for the guy, and like mm-hmm. it slowly built up his whole backstory, made him re- really three dimensional, and then at the end and, he just blows himself up. And, and, and I like and I like how the the writing. Sorry for interrupting here, but I like how the writing kind of made it so that someone could see that he is asking for help. Well, that's what I'm saying because yeah. the writing made it where we were completely like we felt for this guy. Yeah, in 44 minutes. Like we didn't know anything about this. Yeah, thing. yeah. Right? So the episode was forty four minutes long, and at the end of the episode, we hated. We started off hating him, then we liked him, and then like, oh damn. Yeah, yeah. So sad. Yeah. So excellent writing, as always. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, nothing. It, new. It, it was pretty good. But I'm wondering now that we're in the halfway part mm-hmm. of. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Now that we're in the halfway point, <clears throat> how many episodes in this season are still filler? I don't you know. I'm wondering if we're done with it or not to say the last episode was filler. But that's, I wonder if, if we're going to have a one off crazy type episode in season four. Well, let's see. Well, let's find out, right? right. Anyway, again, with that said, this is. Like, episode 11, right? Lines of communication. Lines of communication. I'm going to make sure it's 11 here. It's so weird that we're like halfway through. There we go. I know, right? It is, it is weird. That's what it is, episode 11. Let me get this start up. Let me rebrand that. Let me get this going. Anyway, this is season four, episode eleven. Lines of communication. Here we go. go. about the harsh conditions aboard what was once the shining beacon of Earth Force, Babylon 5. Messages smuggled... What? ...continue to be subjected to cruel oppression by alien groups aboard the renegade outpost. And every day, more people are asking, when will Earth intervene? How much longer can we allow our citizens to endure this mistreatment? Why do you keep watching that garbage? You know, it just upsets you. I'm gathering intelligence. You're winding yourself up like a cheap watch. That helps me focus. You heard that part about intervention? They are laying a foundation for another assault. Only this time it'll look like a... Crazy, the people on Mars did not know that there's a war. ...instead of an unprovoked attack. So how long until they move? I don't know. Not for a while yet. They'll keep the war drums going as long as they can. Whip everyone up back home. Turn them against us. Commander. We're getting a signal from Dr. Franklin on Mars. It's weak. It's barely even getting past the jammers. I'll put it through. 
I repeat, who's the big bad wolf? To big bad and what wolf. house is he blowing Do not down? Respond. I repeat. Do not respond. We have arranged a meeting with the board who send its regards. We are continuing on schedule and hope to come home. I don't know about cryptic. We will check in again at prearranged time on second coded frequency. I repeat, board meeting is on. Well, that was good and cryptic. Well, but do we look at each other? Short cuts down on the risk of it being tracked back here. And as long as Babylon 5 doesn't respond, there's no way anyone can know who the message was meant for. If Clark knew that someone from Babylon 5 was here, he got fusion. Oh, big time. The important thing is, the captain knows we're set to meet with the rest of the resistance as soon as they arrive. I hope it does some good. Some of the others aren't as reasonable as I am. In case you hadn't noticed, Earth Force is closing the noose around us. We estimate they'll capture the rest of Mars by the end of the year, unless something is done. I'm worried some of the others will start getting more. Is that Earth? You think? There's been an explosion at the 100%. Red Planet Hotel. Took out a security force from Earth. They say it's a terrorist attack by the resistance. Ten civilians were killed in the attack. Dude, it's just a matter of time before they can attack the ship then. Attack uh, Babylon 5. And also, there have been more attacks against transport ships along our border, Delena. Not against our own ships, but the smaller world we've been aligned for centuries. The North Sai have been the hardest hit. But we have always guaranteed their protection. Why haven't our mm. sent to help them? And with the Grey Council no more, the three castes are mainly concerned with protecting their own interests. The alliance with the North Sai was initiated by the religious caste. Now that the war is over. Oof. No. It's bad. Do you know who's responsible? Is that the Firefly? <laughs> it's like a I Firefly, right? That we have sent for more information. Perhaps the situation's not as bad as the reports have indicated. Dude, I can't help but remain impressed. Yes. The quality of the graphics every season. It's like, gone up every single Every time. season, you know. Like, if we go back now to season one, well, like, we're like, ew, what the hell are we watching, you know? <laughs> to what we see now is, is excellent. Excellent. Definitely some of the best battle scenes I've ever seen, period. Raise me just like John. Lynn, I was just about to call you. I was wondering if you'd like to have dinner tonight. I can't. What? Lately, there have been a number of attacks against several worlds on the border of Mimbari space. Since the warrior caste will not act, I have to look into it. Oh, that's interesting timing. There have been similar attacks outside Pakmara space. Well, I guess it was inevitable. Everyone suffered heavy losses during the war. It was only a matter of time before someone tried to take advantage of that by sending out raiding parties. But to attack without provocation. The Norsai are a peaceful agrarian people who have relied on our... Mm. I'm going to take out a flight of white starships to investigate. Since it was a religious caste that promised protection, I have an obligation. Well, can't you... Oh, I won't forget. Like, when you can Dang! <laughs> that third night was crazy. <laughs> the skills. The skills you have. Never forget who I was. What I am, and what I can do. You're right. It's funny because when he said, "Want to come to dinner?" Like, really? All those rituals? You want to go to all that again? <laughs> Juno. That's a dope ship. We have to let Donovan know everything when I call you plan. You understand? What? Wait, Donovan. What? What did I do? Out. This is private. What did I do? Out! You know damn well what you did. That bombing was unauthorized. I checked with Donovan. Donovan's Earthside. Whatever he may think, he doesn't run the resistance. Mars is my territory, and you don't pull this kind of crap without authorization. I saw the security squad checking in. There wasn't time. A call mm. takes 10 seconds. Do you know what I can do to you in 10 seconds? In 10 seconds, I can cripple you for life. In 10 seconds, I can break your skull open and scoop out your brains for cat food. I've got 10 dead civilians on the deck, Philippe. And they're going to hold me responsible. They'll be looking for me long after you go home to Earth. I don't care 
what you do back home, but here, you answer to me. And you don't do anything. You don't breathe, you don't move, and you don't blow things up unless you check. Mm. No, don't trust him. Tell me, is this how you treat all your... I don't trust him. I would have been like, he's especially trying again. small weenies. Whatever you got to say. A little look, he's like... Man, he looks like he's in love. He's smitten. Yeah, yeah, like always. Sick. Think it's something we said? Hope not. Soon face an entire... Listen, anything that has a tail, he's going to chase. Literally. Sorry. Still got to get used to the time difference here. Must be past midnight back at the station. Everybody all asleep in their beds. At which time we hope to present a series on Membari War Syndrome and examine how it can affect some of our war veterans. They will explain how someone with as noted a reputation as Captain Sheridan could go from war hero. Dude, the, 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 the butcher job they've been doing on him is crazy, man. Damage he's doing to his own world. Up yours, you lion in part of our continuing report, we will examine in greater detail the mistreatment of humans trapped on Babylon 5. Our job, as always, is simply to state the facts and let the truth attend. I don't blame him. Even though he knows it's all butcher job. It's still gonna get you mad. Uh oh. No, he, he I saw a light go on. He said, Eureka. State the facts, let the truth attend to itself. Something about that. Sh sprung the light. Never. <sighs> Can I get just one night of uninterrupted sleep around here? Calm down, Julian. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Lights low. Yes? Susan, it's me. Open. I got it. Damn it, Susan. I've got it. What? Look, if they want to play games, well, fine. We can play games too, only we can play them better because we. You can't. Our side, you can't kill the truth. Actually, you can kill the truth, but it always comes back to haunt you later. Hello? Come on, I'll show you. I, I think we can make this work. Uh, John. What? Don't you think I better change first? Oh, yeah. I haven't noticed. <laughs> I hadn't noticed. Thanks, I'll just... Wait a minute. What do you mean you didn't notice? I mean, what am I, chop florin? All right, okay. Granted, I don't have any interest in you. You don't have any interest in me. But if you're going to come barging in here in the middle of the night, the least you could say is, nice outfit, Ivanova. Now get your ass outside. We got things to do. <laughs> uh, nice outfit, Ivanova. Julian would have been <laughs> I would have walked in, looked, and I would have been like Thank forgot, you Forgot why you went in there in the first place Yep, yep John, I've been here before For this, you woke me up Why not? You gave me the idea You would have been like I'm just going to stand here until you tell me what the hell you're talking about During the last oh. phase of the war You were on the Babcom system Updating everyone on evacuations, safe zones, rescues, which planets had fallen. Yes, I know. I hated it. You were great at it. You have a face people trust. I'd rather have a face people fear. Well, that too, but... See, it occurred to me that if we could do that here on a small scale, why not on a larger scale? I mean, ever since we broke away from Earth, solid information has been... Rare as gold. We've had to rely on smuggled data crystals, rumors, stories. All they have to go on back home is what ISN tells Make a show? So, why not solve two... That'd be awesome. Like a podcast? Time. Why not come up with a way that we could turn the war room into... I don't know, uh... The voice of the resistance. Susan... During World War II, okay. the French Resistance used to go on the air for one hour a night, always from a different location, broadcasting the real news about the war, providing intelligence for the resistance fighters, encouraging the Germans to defect. But why can't we do the same thing here? Why do I get the ugly suspicion that you're volunteering me for this job? It's a good idea, I think. I accept your offer. Now, you go get some sleep, and we will talk about this again tomorrow. If you weren't my commanding officer, I swear I'd shoot him dead. 
nice little fleet, you know what I mean? Our fleet will mess you up. What if Babylon? But I wonder. Go ahead. What about what if this whole show up till now has just been them recounting everything that's been happening, and this is actually the broadcast? Great, really. That'd be awesome. You've been up for some time, Delenn. You I should like sleep. I will. I was thinking. I'm very disturbed by what you told me about the warrior cast. Since the war, I haven't been paying as much attention to events back home as I should have. How is it? The Grey Council was a force that held us together, Delenn. That is why Valen created it. Each cast had an equal voice. Without it, it has become difficult, and there have been rumors. Mm. It is said that the warrior cast are trying to form a new council of its own. I've heard in the cities of Sakaar and Dronya, where once the three castes lived together peacefully, the warrior castes have forced out our caste, driving them to the wastelands. At least that is the rumor. Do you believe it? The cart says when there is good news, we always ask if it is true, because it is so difficult to believe. But when there is bad news, we rarely inquire because this is so easy to believe. So yes, Delenn, I do believe. This guy's either having a major allergic reaction yeah, to that makeup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like his, I don't yeah. trust him. I don't like him. What am I? I trust him. I think, I mean, he's giving me information about, I mean, it's, it's horrible what's going on. Yeah. His one eye, though, like, really messed me up. It was like, a, it was either a lazy eye or allergic reaction or something. All right, I want to thank all of you for coming. I know that getting here was difficult for most of you, considering the extent to which President Clark has been restricting travel. But Captain Sheridan has asked me to convey several messages. First, to express the outrage we all feel about how Mars has been treated. I guess so. Now, it was Clark's decision to bomb civilian targets that prompted our decision to secede from the Alliance. That and a small fleet of ships coming your way? Uh, it's just a little easier to make the grand gesture when someone is putting a gun at your head, yes? <laughs> now that's just not fair. No one's forgotten that Sheridan helped put down the food riots after the Mimbari War. A lot of people here still haven't forgotten that. Right. The point is, the captain is willing to set aside old differences and focus on what really? needs to be done now. <clears throat> and right now, you need all the allies you can get. He wants you to know that we have not forgotten Mars or Proxima 3. We are putting together a coalition that will move against Clark at the appropriate time, and he wants your support. Provided that you do understand that this is directed against the person, not the position. I know. What are you begging us for? What are you selling? Some of you want to overthrow EarthGov as payment for what it's done to you. Fair enough. I was raised on Arisia Colony which was sucked dry by Earth taxes and ruined by Earth corporations. So I sympathize. But if you go that way, you'll lose any support you might have back home and jeopardize the greater mission, getting rid of Clark. Now, towards that end, the captain wants you to stop bombing civilian targets. It does no good and it never has. We have to send a message. Right. You are, you are, but it's the wrong message. It makes everyone back home more sympathetic to Clark's position. You're driving people away when you should be trying to bring them around to our side. You talk about our they side, just showed up we to haven't help. seen much help coming from Babylon 5 lately. Sorry, been a trifle busy lately with a little war that threatened to wipe out this entire sector. And before you think it's got nothing to do with you, the creature we found on one of your people when we got here would seem to indicate that the forces behind that war are also responsible for some of the problems here. Now we need to know that we can rely Do you think that bug, that creature from Babylon 5 over the next several months without has a nest on Mars? How strange they may sound. We need I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. Remember, there was a shadow on Mars. Bombings for a while. Is that all you have to say? No. Captain Sheridan gave me one last message. He said, I know we are asking a great deal of you, but in exchange for your cooperation, you have my guarantee that when this is all over, Mars will finally be recognized as an independent state. Okay. And we're supposed to believe one man saying this? Yes. If that guy is gonna stop progress. Wings and fly to New York. Yeah. <laughs> in your case, I'd say you were crazy. 
But if Sheridan said it, I'd tell him to stop off on the west side and pick me up some bagels. This is what you have been fighting and dying for, and you are no closer to your goal now than before. Clark's forces will keep closing in on you whether you sign up with us or not, and in six months, the resistance will be dead. Now, we're offering you a chance. We'll give you support and Hell a real yeah. target, which is a hell of a lot better than bombing civilian targets on your way to... Punch that guy. I was going to say no to that. I mean, it's a hell of an offer. Yeah, now punch that guy in the face. Yeah, screw that, that guy. It does bring, though, more validity to, like, Giribaldi's claim of Sheridan wanting to be in charge of everything. Now, bud. Nice. Are you receiving anything, my dear? I'm picking up a distress... I won't be surprised that guy is an Earth agent. Oh, probably. You know, and, and, and blowing up civilians. Putting it through. Francis. We charge any ships are being attacked. All right, here we go. Here we go. Life support no longer functioning. Dark enemy. This is the land of the Mimbari. We are en route. How many ships are attacking you? Two enemy. Oh my god, they're going into a fleet. It's gone. Are we close enough to pick up the ships that attacked it? Yes. On screen. I've never seen those people, ever. Be careful, Delenn. We don't know the reasons for the attack, and we've never seen any ships like those before. I was there at the first contact with Ducatlin here. Do not make such mistakes yeah. twice. Open a channel. White Star Fleet to attacking ships. Identify yourselves. It's going. Can you translate? No. I'm sending Interlac alphabet and language codes on a clear channel. This may take a moment. Delenn. In a moment. White Star Mimbari. Yes. Who are you? Drak. Drak. Is that your name? Or the name of your species? Yes. Delenn, there's a problem. We are not translating that. It's coming through in Minbari. But you said you sent them our language codes. No, I sent them interlac. It's easier. What the hell? Her assistant has the alien on him. Oh. Unless. Jesus Christ. Good call, Julian. What the hell is that? Move, Delenn. Pharrell, you would threaten me. Only as necessary. Minbari, do not kill Minbari. I do not need to kill you to cause you pain. Why are you doing this? To prevent you from acting against them till you've heard what we have to say. And then what? That is up to you. And them. That's the ugliest gun I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's like a microphone. I wouldn't even be throwing that. What the hell? What are you pointing at me? What is that? It's like a faucet that you haven't put in yet. That's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of here. It does like a faucet. It looks like a microphone. Or not like a microphone. Like a like boom. A transmitter. <laughs> well, I'll give you this much. You can be pretty convincing when you want to be. They still have to check back with their own people, but for now, you got their support. And mine. Because I think we can trust you, even if you are a liar. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Come on. Franklin, don't play me for stupid. I was there. You didn't know about the bombings until you got here. ISN isn't airing that information outside Earth. They don't want to encourage anyone else to do the same. So, if you didn't know about the bombings, how could you carry a message from Sheridan about it? Well, I, uh... Couldn't. But I know the captain wouldn't like it any more than you do. And since you were having a hard time with the others, I thought... You thought you'd give me a little outside support. Yeah. So... Uh, uh, it's a matter of time, these two. Uh, it's a matter of time. You're my kind of liar. Julian's like, I should be in there! <laughs> it's that nice milk chakra. You're welcome. <laughs> I was there too, you know. 
didn't thank me. Well, you were the one that always told me that being a ranger is a thankless job. Yeah, I know, but it wouldn't hurt once in a while just for the sheer change of pace. Ask yeah, me. Yeah, whatever. I think she likes you. Ah, oh, sure. No, okay. it's just business, that's all. Steven. Look, a hundred. just helping her out of a difficult situation, that's all. Fifty credits says that's not all she wants you to help her out of. Oh, come on, Marcus, you are such a... Romantic? Yeah. Um, We're still um, in a war here, Stephen. Um, um, Only now it's a different kind of war. Maybe the worst of the two. It's hard to know who to trust. A situation like this. In other words, go get yours before it's too late. Makes you want to reach out to someone who may just feel the same way as you do about things. Who might be willing to risk this much to help you when the rest of the world couldn't give a damn. Oh, Franklin, I almost forgot. Since it was your hotel that was bombed this morning, you're on your own. Maybe you'd like to join me for dinner tonight. I can't promise much, but mm -hmm. it'll be the best we can pull together. Sure. I tell you what, season one Franklin's different than season four. Season one Franklin would have been there a long time ago. That'll be 50 credits. No, 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 don't you start <laughs> with me, Marcus. 50. Don't. Come on, you cheap bastard. Marcus, look. Oh, sorry. Gotta go. Guard duty. Don't give him that advice. <laughs> it, might, it might send him into an overdrive. He don't need no passion, dog. <laughs> Every season has been a different one. You guys realize this is the only He's one that's sick. not morally wrong? <laughs> it's the only one that has not been his patient. Y'all tell me y'all could do nothing. Y'all don't got a gun. Up there shooting this, guy. this is far enough. Like, are you kidding me? Wait, I want to believe that Delenn knows hand-to-hand -hand combat. And she just, you know. Bro, I would have believed as soon as you would have turned over. Bop, 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 bop. So when you shot Dylan in the shoulder. And even the uh, Lanier. What the hell is shit? Are y'all kidding me? Y'all cannot shoot this man from behind. Y'all ain't got no handguns. There's USB ports on that gun. You gotta charge that shit. <laughs> to allow the life pod on board. He will not be armed. You have my word. Look at the closer one when I edit. Yeah. Hi. Right. Well, that'd be an FD slot. SD card <laughs> slot. Yep, yep. You gotta remember the gun sound. The Skeletor? <laughs> what the hell is that? Dude, but look at the effect. This effect is awesome. Dude, I think this is the Predator. He looks like Kit Fisto, actually, if you look at him at a certain... Like who? Kit Fisto is like a Jedi from Star Wars. <laughs> Is he there, yeah, the or one. is this special, like, uh, like a green screen thing? I think he's actually there, but they're blurring him by make by like doing multiple movements at the same time. That's great, bro. That's an awesome effect. Like, it's frightening. It's unsettling. My dad dances like that. Who are you? Are you a duck? I brought you another. This one is important. She can be a great help to us. Her it's name is. The... What I told you before was true. The warrior caste has formed a council of its own. With the Grey Council gone, there's nothing to hold them in check except them. You cannot use them to attack our own people. That is not my intent. Listen to me, please. My family was at Sakaar when the warrior caste decided no longer wished to share its resources. We were driven out. The personal fly is destroyed and forced to walk to the next city. But Sakaar is on the edge of the southern polar region. Most of them died from cold and exposure before reaching Drogonai. My family did not Jesus. survive. Mimbari do not kill Mimbari. But when it is the elements, the night, the cold, well, is that truly murder? I didn't know Varel. I'm sorry. The word is now only spreading. But the others don't believe it could happen to us. But it is just how it happened in the days before Valen. 
Because they didn't believe, they will not act. If we allow the warrior caste to take control of Minba, it'll be too late. We must have allies. Even if we do not use them, that they exist at all will make the warrior caste reconsider. So you have gone to outsiders. What other choice is there? You have these ships, but you are still outnumbered. The drag can help. They've offered us protection in exchange for allowing them to move into several deserted worlds along our borders. What? We do not give shelter to thieves who prey on innocent ships. We only use force against military vessels who threaten them first. Their presence along the border will help keep us safe, in case we once again descend into the chaos of civil war. The Drak want peaceful relations. They want only a place to have for their own because... Because they have just lost their home. Yes. There was an evacuation. Some kind of natural disaster, they said. This homeworld of yours, did it have a name? Yes. yes. What was it? Home. I'm sorry if I had to force you to come here. What did it say? Home. Yeah. And if the others should hear of this, then you can tell them truthfully that you were forced to come. I could not have harmed you. But it was important that you see them for yourself. We can be the salvation of our society. You belong to the Grey Council. You can take their offer to the religious caste. They will respect you. I don't know if this is the right way to go about it. Like this, this is having another army kill your people. That's not going to work. Consider your offer. Tell the others that we will meet here again in seven days. I will give you my answer then. No. I don't even know what he said. I thought he said, oh, hell no. <laughs> you will not regret this, Dylan. <laughs> oh, he knows the name. Dude, I love this effect. I love it. You didn't tell them who you were ringing. No, there wasn't time. Tell the other ships to stand by. Let me know as soon as the emissary has left. Why are you... Don't you understand? Sheridan and I defeated the Shadows, drove them and their allies from Zahadun, which was then destroyed. They worked for the Shadows, Pharrell. And now you brought mm. me right into the middle of them. No. You must have been mistaken. It's possible... No. I felt it as soon as I saw him. I had been to Zahadun. I saw the evacuation. We defeated their masters. And now they seek to become masters themselves and destroy those who defeated the Shadows. Now that they know who I am, they will attack as soon as it is safe to do so. The Drak shuttle is leaving. Good oh boy. Oh boy. Dude, it died with you. <clears throat> you know what? My throat all messed up. This plan is stupid. It is very. Can we open a jump point? Escape before they can attack? No. They would detect the energy spike and destroy us before we could enter hyperspace. <laughs> we can outrun them. We're faster than they are. Once we're moving, yes, but we have to fight inertia to gain top speed, and that will take several seconds. Several seconds is all they will need to destroy us. What are they waiting for? We've drifted closer to their mothership. If they attack at this range, they'll damage it. Let us use that against them. Lanier, have you ever seen the warrior cast training flights? Yes. Have you seen them skin dancing? I have. Can you do the same thing? This very feels very sheared in of her. Years of additional training. She's learning. Yeah. But I can program the parameters into the ship's artificial intelligence matrix. And what do you do then? Touch that button and pray very, very fast. <laughs> Start working. Move us away from the other ships slowly. Let them think we are leaving as planned. If they get out of this, they're gonna beat that guy up for setting them up like beat this. Him up. Not kill him. Though. Not kill him. Just, just you know, him. a good beat down. A good beat down. Yeah, yeah. Enemy weapon systems are powering up. Have they locked on yet? No, they won't lock on until they're ready to fire. Link all the other ships into our control system. Also, wouldn't inertia be not the thing in space? I don't know. They're locking so off. Just based off of it. No.
Oh my God, look how dope this is. One thing, dog. I thought I was helping up. Shut up. Thank you. I thought. Bro, you got hit with one little thing, dude. He's the weakest man burner weakest, we've seen exactly, so far. Exactly, bro. Man got one, bro. I, it's a good thing for the whole race. Exactly, the whole race. They, they don't need you. <laughs> he already had brain damage. You saw what gun he brought out? He needed to charge it with the USB port. <laughs> I should never have been away this long. Bro. First and foremost, she's gonna have to restart the Great Council. Damage is substantial, but auto repair systems are functional. Setting a course for Babylon 5. I don't get this. Y'all got the. They, they destroyed yeah. ships from yeah. the world, murdered their crews, yeah. destroyed white uh -oh. forces. Yeah! And you now, go back! They will pay the price. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Let's do it. Y'all got do it. the most badass ships. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, like y'all got the most. Yeah, y'all got the most crazy ship. Yeah. Come oh, back. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Bombing, oh. Run. Bombing run. Oh, yeah, there there we go. They're both up in the ship. That's what I need right there. Yeah, Dylan. I like She's that. a badass. Like She's that. a badass. Yes. Right there. Right there. Yup. The whole thing. The whole thing. Yup. All of them. Give me all of them. She's like, F you, F you, F you. Give me all of them. Drop a nuke. Drop whatever psychological, like, messed up weapon you can. That's what I need. Yep, keep going. Keep going. With y'all little... Dude. Dude, she is so little... dangerous. Yeah, that's what I needed. The drop mothership is heading for the jump gate. How fast? Take it fast. out. Be faster. Let's go. Come Take on. Take it out, my guy. Take it out. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, take him out. Take him out. Yeah. Hold on. That's a good hold. Oh, oh. Go, 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 go. Start shooting. Start shooting. Shoot oh, is she going to blow up the warp, ga warp gate? End this. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. There we go. There we go. That hell yeah! That is what you needed to do. Hell yeah! They gonna mess with you? I thought they were gonna do a season three and make a mini warp gate in the warp gate and blow it up. <laughs> I see. That's what I was thinking. Delenn, it would seem that we have a problem at home. Duh. I know. Call the other ships in here. Take us to Babylon Five. Oh my God, she's such a badass. She needs to be a badass, bro. This is what we needed. Bro, I was kind of pissed off. I was like, yo. This yeah, like, wait, why are you running away? Like, well, you got the most, again, you got the most badass ships. These ships defeated the shadows. How is she going to rally uh, the Membari? She's going to have to restart the Great Council again, somehow. Because the people are falling apart that way. And the only thing that helped them together was the Great Council. My problem with it is her social standing right now. Because remember, she got, given, she got gifted away. That's right. And she's not Membari. Quote unquote. 
Bro. So does she have the opportunity to be the, able the to? The opportunity. You want to hear the opportunity here? You, this is the opportunity. She just oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Untouched and unchanged for centuries. I leave for three days and you redecorate. <laughs> Me and my bright ideas. But once this place is online, we'll finally be able to get our story out to the fleet, the colonies, even Earth, if we can slip past the jammers. I heard about what happened to you out there. How'd you find out? While you were gone, we heard about more attacks. Some of the ships were identical to the ones you ran into. You still think it came from Zahadum? Positive. There's no way of knowing how many other raiders are out there. But these Drac worry me the most. Wild cards. Just what we need. Never seems to end, does it? You know, my grandfather once told me the duration's gonna be a lot longer than the war. <laughs> Never quite understood that until now. And it isn't just the other races. John, there are problems waiting for me on Minbar. Right. The care system is falling apart. If you don't pull it back together again, there will be civil war. So, I'm going home for a while until this is fixed. It may take some time, but I think in some ways, the time apart will be good for us. Good for you. How so? Before the war, Ducat wanted to know more about your people. So I began studying your history. I came to the conclusion that of all the races we had encountered, humans were the most dangerous. Because humans form communities, and from that diversity comes a strength no single race can withstand. That is your strength. And it is that which makes you dangerous. <coughs> Ever since you came back from Sahadum, you've been trying to act as if nothing had changed, trying to put it all back, the way it was it turns into a to, uh, shadow. That you have only 20 years left. But you don't want to talk about that. You've turned your attention back toward Earth, distracted yourself with this. That is why you're so angry with Mr. Garibaldi. But as long as he's outside, things can never be the way they were. While you were in Zahadum, you were touched by destiny. Destiny is another guy. You cannot just simply walk away from that. I know, I know. It's just that I'm... I'm tired to live. Sometimes I feel as if I've been carrying this station on my back and crawling through broken glass for three years. For three seasons. We each have our obligations. Mine, for now, is to return home. I must rebuild the Grey Council. And you must finish the work that is ahead of you. Fighting a war is easy. Destroying is easy. Building a new world out of what's left of the old. That is what's hard. But that is your strength. So much has fallen apart out there. You must help to put it back yep. together. I agree. And how will your leaving make this any easier for me? You've been holding back, trying to protect all of us from the parts of you that changed at Zahadum. You've tried to act as if nothing had changed. But I know your heart, John. You can fool the others, but you cannot fool me. What is left requires that you be dangerous. And I think you would be more comfortable doing that if I were not here. I think she's 100% correct. I love you. She's there. He's going he's, he's gonna to hold back. Would it make a difference if I asked you not to go? Would you want it to make a difference? No. Oh, I would have said yes. And one more time to get I need, I need. Yeah, let's yeah, do one more ritual. Well, how long before you... There you go. Tomorrow mm -hmm. morning. We, can spend we got time. Dinner. Dinner. Mm -hmm. Nah, let's get straight to it. Love that special trick I like. <laughs> with the crystal, with the crystal. The backflip you do. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I'm okay with, uh, 
I'm sure Stephen like watches his hands. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. You know, this never this planet never got activated, by the way. Mars? Draw. Draw was never activated. I think I think it was gonna come up. <laughs> what I think that could happen. You know that leader that runs the military guy? The guy who's like runs the military cast of the Mimbari? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that guy? I think what's going to have to happen <laughs> is that he's going to be like, no, I'm not human. I'm not human. Right? You know, because they use that test. And then they're going to use that thing and be like, look, you're human just like us. That and, would be. And yo, then. That guy's going to go ape shit. And, I mean, then, I and then at that point, he will crumble. Be like, yo, no, she, I'm right. Like that, that, like. Either that, that or he's going to do. And just take himself out. No, you know I, what I, mean? I, I don't think he would take himself out, but I think I think at that point he would understand that no, we're Mimbari. We do have human smart, like traces in us, but we are Mimbari. You know? I know, and that, that could kind of break I, that. I, that's the thing. I see that story in May and like that. I'm just wondering how they're going to reach that point. Like how they're going to get from point A to point B. Well, firstly, who's going to make <clears throat> who's going to make the manifest destiny of this? Like who's how are they going to do it? Is it going to be through book, through literature, through reading, through philosophy, through religion? How is it going to get communicated to the people? Just this regular discussion. I think it's going to be spiritually I because think, they are spiritual. I think they're going to have to have a discussion. I, they're not all spiritual. No, they're not. I That's why there's different give, casts. Give them three nights, three nights, put them on both together. <laughs> <laughs> Make him all wear I love my brother shirts. You know what I mean? And let and let him show, you know what I mean? Why, why the religious cats Listen, do it better? Let's see what happens in the next episode though, guys. Let's see what's going on. I I'm But I, I really I would really want I want to have this issue though. I just putting that out there. No, no, no. I mean <laughs> it, 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 the, the, there would only be one cast and it would be military cast. There would be no. It makes a good point. I don't know about military cast. It shouldn't be a cast at all. Yeah. I like what you're saying. Yeah, it shouldn't be a cast. But this game would be was. interesting. <clears throat> but if there was I would immediately they're gonna write get rid of them a hundred letters and post them on doors and yeah. then from there on yeah 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 they're gonna have those people who knock on doors all right we've been on here for a long time let's get to the end of the guys our religion. well guys if you like what we're doing please hit the like button the subscribe button this episode will be available on our patreon for a little of three dollars a month you'll find the link in the description below guys we want to know your comments what you think about this episode what you know behind the, uh, the behind the scenes uh, um the productions what do you think about Michael's theory? I want to know what you think about Michael's theory. And we should just blow everything up. But anyway, guys, listen. Uh, 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 definitely want to know what you guys are thinking about it. No more information about your thoughts or anything about production, about this episode or more. Uh, and again, guys, again, again, no spoilers. We appreciate no spoilers. Keep it blind for us, and we really do appreciate all that. Well, anyway, guys, listen, we appreciate you hanging out with us. We are our Nights. I'm Ray. I'm Michael. I'm Julian. Guys, we'll see you soon. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>